pull it out right and put it back how much does how much does this charger cost uh, this charger cost me about nineteen hundred dollars okay but again this is old technology this right. is this is what we use for the Toyota RAV4 any new electric car that comes out you'll be able to plug it into any 110 outlet ah just like my motorcycle now right let me show you the motorcycle okay now this is a Vetrix it's an American uh, motorcycle it's the fastest electric motorcycle in the world currently they're more on the way that might be faster in the future um, and uh, this is you know the back seat of it you just open this up so there's a nice storage area in there right and as you can see it comes with about a 10 foot cord right and then I keep a 50 foot cord round wound up in there for convenience charging so when I'm out and about this bike has about a 50 mile range and a 62 mile an hour top speed and it's very quick at uh, zero to 60 in about eight seconds and it's uh, street legal totally street legal highway legal right matter of fact I had to get an M1 license to drive it right so then you just take the uh, cord and uh, I'll show you how we charge this one it's essentially like we do the EV only given that it's a 110 outlet I just plug it into there right and then it takes a moment for the charger to kick in. Right now, it's the charger's reading the current right. and determining that it's a 110 outlet instead of a 220 because it'll run off of either one. So you can take it to Europe if you. Absolutely. Now you can hear it winding up, so starting to charge, and um, and that's all there is to it. And talk about uh, how this drives. Uh, uh, electric cars don't really have. Uh, uh, don't shift. Uh, is no, there's, it, is there's it, no transmission. As a matter of fact, the way this thing operates is very cool. It's we're not probably not going to drive around, but you want to? Can you sit in it and we'll sure. talk about it? From yeah. So when you drive this thing, you accelerate by twisting the grip, just like you would a, a gas vehicle. Right. Um, only the the beautiful part about this is when I want to stop, I have these Brembo brakes, very good brakes, but I never use them. I just reversed the throttle, and it, what it does is called regenerative braking. The electric motor, instead of being a motor, Im immediately turns into a generator. And the movement of the bike um, actually turns that generator and slows down the bike, but it, the generator is now creating electricity instead of using electricity, and it stores it back in the battery. So that's how I stop. You, you go this way, and you stop that way. And it's yeah. very intuitive, very smooth, and I just love that aspect. And again, the range and uh, speed of, of this car, um, of this motorcycle? The range uh, is motorcycle? about 50 miles, and, and if you drive it carefully, I mean, if you go very fast, your range will drop because of that. But right. Gas cars do the same thing. Um, the acceleration is the fun part about this bike. Uh, I, I beat BMWs all the time with it. And right. It's, it's quite fast. And the top speed is 62 miles an hour, so you're legally able to bring it onto the freeway. And how much does it cost? Uh, it's just around $9,000, and there's a $1,500 rebate from the state of California. So effectively, it's about $7,500. And, and you need a motorcycle license to drive it? That's correct.